Hello friends and welcome back to Bitfumes Angular 5 series and in this episode we are going to look through various list of our Pokemons from our Pokemon.ts file and show in our browser. So with that I am your host Sarthak and this is a channel where you will get to learn various things for web development and if you have not subscribed please go and subscribe and don't forget to like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's get started this video and for that I have to go to my sublime and we have on the last episode already started the server so that's why we are getting this on our chrome browser so let's go to sublime and here i will go to list.ts and in the last episode we are trying to make it an array containing objects then that was not working so we have removed that array part so let's get back that array part and now I will do one thing more so let's get electra buzz okay and this is also electric electra buzz okay and next favorite one is bulbasaur so bulbasaur and type is grass and also that will be a poison uh, yeah great okay and then another one Another one is Raichu and Raichu is uh, extended form of Pikachu which is again electric. I think I like electric one more. <laughs> okay, so Raichu and one, one more is Charmeleon. So Charmeleon and this is like type is fire. Okay, so we have this list of Pikachus pokemons in our list constant so we have already imported that list in our component.ts file and we have said that list is equal to capital list so if we try to go and check everything blow up because this is now a array it's not an simple object so we can do like list.name so why not do one thing let's go and create an unordered list then ally and for this ally i have to loop through it's very easy just you have to say ng for and then comes our important part which says let item of list okay but here comes important most important part you have to make asterisk before ng4 this is a very important part of ng4 you have to give this asterisk so asterisk let item of list and now i will say item oh, we have to use double curly braces okay then comes item dot name save this file let's go to chrome and supremely easy and you can see uh, what's that now let's just remove that so instead of i will say list of pokemons hey great now go to chrome and lists of pokemons which says all these pokemon it's superb superb angular is so good but what about this text box why not do one thing let's get a new thing uh, that if i click on anyone i want to get that type of the pokemon in this text box so let's see how we can do that this means we have to make some click event type things so in the angular it's super easy you just have to say uh, click event like parenthesis and here as you have to say click so whatever will be inside parenthesis will be uh, will be treated as the event so it's a click event and i'm going to give click event whenever the click event happen i want to say get type uh, this is good okay so get type is a function or a method we have to create obviously we will create that in our component so component.ts pokemon.component.ts component and paste this 
get type and firstly for checking purpose let's just console dot log and I'm going to log ABC okay so let's go to Chrome and let's click on anyone uh -huh. it's not working why it's not working so I think the problem is let's go to this sublime and here on the component.html we have to say yeah that's good but it's a function or a method so now let's go to Chrome and click here and yes it's surely giving the feedback of click event so let's just go and pass our item so that we can even get the item detail on our component or let's go here and accept item and let's just console log simply item that's great so let's go to chrome and let's click on this and yes surely we get the object of that clicked part so we are getting the name and even the type so why not just go and create a new variable let's say new variable name is type and that type is initially null okay and we are going to bind say this dot type is equal to our item dot type so that's good and this means if I go here I can simply say type okay so what we have done uh, let's just first see and then I will explain you okay so let's give charmeleon fire electrobus electric bulbasaur grass or poison so it's super super easy super easy to do all these things so let me just explain you what we have done we have get a list of pokemons here as an object and all these objects inside an array then we have imported that list from list.ts file and called it a list with a capital L then we have said simply list variable is assigned to list with a capital L then we go to here component.html part then we have used the unordered list and for each item or list item we are using asterisk ng4 asterisk is very important asterisk ng4 and i will say let item of list that means it's like a, a for each loop if you are familiar with okay then we are echoing out oh yeah php people always say echoing out <laughs> okay we are displaying this item dot name and then we are having all these lists but i have said that whenever i click on any one then just do this function whatever we have given and this function so i'm passing just item and here in this function or method whatever you call i have said that type variable i have defined null but whenever this function called this dot type is equal to this item dot type the item we are passing and just we are binding that uh, type to our input so this means we can get all these things and obviously we can if we want we can change that okay so these are the things we can do with angular so if you have learned something from bitfumes and you want to do it just go to patreon.com and donate one dollar or more if you want and if you have any doubt, feel free to message me, comment me, and don't forget to subscribe, like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.